I'll make one quick statement, <laughs> which I guess you guys already know. But um, you know, Marcidius and Luke uh, will no longer be with our team. Uh, I met with Luke last night, Marcidius this morning, and they made a decision to transfer uh, and, and go find somewhere else to, to play and continue their education. And so I'll support those guys and, and do what they need um, from my end to help them. Um, and so I appreciate their efforts, you know, while they were here. And the one thing, um, you know, uh, I'm really excited about this group that we got that's taking the floor tomorrow night and ready to get focused on those guys. What does this do for your recruiting now? I mean, obviously two spots, and then you lose two seniors. Yeah, I think it puts us, yeah, it gives us great flexibility in recruiting. I think we've, uh, you know, we can't talk fall recruiting without before signees, but, you know, we're we're recruiting. Um, I think we went in the mindset this year knowing we, we would have to we'll sign a couple guys because of, you know, potential things that could happen in the spring. And so I think we're in a good place with fall recruiting, and, you know, we'll evaluate it, you know, after next week. And, you know, it gives you opportunities to maybe do something at mid-year. And, and gives you an opportunities, obviously, in the spring to, to add a couple more pieces once you see how the youth develops. Was there a decision that they just wanted to transfer? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, you know, there's really no more to it than that. And so I wish them well. Um, you know, there's a lot that, that, that a company's playing here, you know, from a standpoint of, you know, being great community, the classroom, the court. I mean, you know, um, we've had a, you know, a, a great run. We've had great guys come through here. And so, like I told both of them, you know, I'm going to do whatever I can for, for, for the number one guy, the 13th guy. If they need my help, I'll do whatever I can to help those guys. Where have you seen the most progress from practice one to practice whatever heading into the first game? Man, I, I, I think we're starting to slowly find an identity. You know, I thought the first half against Wisconsin, you know, I thought we really competed the right way. I was really in, man, I went in halftime, I was really fired up about the way we played a, against a really good team. Uh, on, on both ends of the floor, really offensively, we were better that uh, that day in the first half. In the second half, we weren't as good, but, you know, our ball movement was really good, our player movement was really good. And so, um, but I think we've kind of identified who the, you know, eight, nine guys are right now. Um, we know that we have to be great on the defensive end and to be able to score early in offense. And then we know offensively, you know, shot selection is something that we've got to really focus on in ball movement. Um, you know, I don't know if there's one area you could say, hey, we've gotten better in this. But um, I think the sense of urgency has been good over the last, you know, week and a half, and we've had some good practices. Individually, what are you looking for tomorrow night other than victory, of course? You know, obviously a win, number one. Yeah. but. I think uh, everyone understanding their roles, uh, competing with great effort, with great energy, and playing with unbelievable enthusiasm. I think that's really it. You know, effort, energy, enthusiasm, uh, and really just playing for each other and playing the right way. And that means getting back on defense. Uh, can they translate our defensive concepts in transition and in the half court? Can we execute our first game plan defensively, understanding where we need to be? And then offensively, are we in tune uh, in how we need to cut and move the ball? And then our execution in the half court and in transition. I mean, that's, I mean, it's a lot, but you know, it's really not. And from a standpoint, when you break it down on the offensive end, the defensive end, but uh, but if you had to just one thing, it's man, I want to play with great effort, play with great energy, play with great enthusiasm. You know, Valley's got three guys, you know, that had like 30, 29, 28. Lindsey Hunter, son's their point guard, and you know, they got Lions and Green that are both really capable perimeter scorers. With I mean, you probably ought to experiment with the scrimmages, but how much these this first game, these first weeks will be still more experimentation, or how much do you know about this team from the scrimmages? I think there's going to be experimentation with this team for a while um, because you don't know until you know, until you see it. Uh, and the scrimmages are great, but you're playing the scrimmages in a different format from a standpoint of, you know, I'm not going to run the same action ten times if it's good. You know, I want to watch ten different actions. I want to play seven different lineups. Um, and so we need to see, you know, what lineups can sustain success. Uh, but we've played big, real big. Uh, we've played semi-big, and we've played small. I mean, we've played all really three, three ways that you could play, you know, and you guys kind of would know that breakdown without me going through each guy. But real big, big, and, and small. And so uh, with our schedule and the different teams we've played, it may one of those three units may be the best that night, and that's what may translate in who plays. Do you have any 
descriptive at all for tomorrow night in terms of wanting to see X amount of minutes with one kind of line? Not really. Or? Not not really. Not, not tomorrow. Or I did that for the first yeah. couple games. Tomorrow I'll play like I see fit. Uh, you know, to where, hey, if we're up 10, we got a chance to get up 15 or 16, or we're, uh, or we're up four, how do we get to 10? You know, I'm going to, you know, uh, because they all count now. That variability you mentioned, like maybe against one team playing big makes yep. sense. Would you rather have that, or is it easier for a team to like, have one thing that we're going to do our best and try to be better than everybody else would? Um, I think it's twofold. You probably could sell it if we were. Sure. Know, we, 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 we could sell each way. <laughs> yeah. Um, to where last year you knew, hey man, yeah. can you guard us? You know, we, we're really good offensively. We're we're we're, we're six five, one through four, and they all can dribble, pass, and shoot. Um, this year, to where there may be times the matchups present us to go, we got to go small. Um, we got to go real big. Um, you know, but I, we have to see what how it translates on the defensive end and the rebound end, rebounding end too. Can you? But we have more packages in to play all those different lineups this year. Can you recruit this uh, second semester guy? You know. Yeah, you know the rules changed to where you could sign a mid-year guy if we wanted to, if the scholarship's available. Is well, you have two now, right? Available. You got the math. <laughs> <laughs> That's my drink education. Yeah. Have any of those three lineups? Dude, that's a good education. <laughs> Damn right it is. Lended themselves better to the the turn defense into offense kind of thing. And Say that one more time. Can any have any of those three? You know, big, really big, small, kind of shown what you always want. That yeah, I mean, offense. not not to where, you know, we're just turning people over. I, I do think this. I do think that if Rasier, Prentice, and Trey are locked in defensively on the perimeter, I do think they can really guard the ball uh, and, and, and cause some problems. Um, they're small. But I think they, they, they do have good quickness, anticipation, and, and they compete the right way. And so I think that's a strength. And then I think you got George who can protect the rim and Solomon who can really physically guard in the post. Solomon, without a doubt, has probably made more strides. I know I talked about Zion too, but Solomon's been really good for us so far.